All right, YouTube, I'm gonna show you how my garden is doing. So we got the cucumbers going on right here. I actually tried a string trellis this year, which I've never done, as you can see. It's holding up. I think I'm gonna use a stronger PVC next year. You see it's starting to bend a little bit, but the cucumbers are doing amazing, as you can see. There's cucumbers and cucumbers all over. So I've already harvested a lot, um, but you can tell there's so many flowers. I mean, there is flowers on flowers on flowers. So cucumbers are not an issue this year. So pretty much I'm proud of the, the raised garden bed and the way that I've done this it's a little tacky but you know I learn more every year the tomatoes so I made a lot of mistakes here I tried to do the string tomatoes I've seen that excuse this this is not normal it literally just pretty much hailed through here with all this wind so I'm gonna fix that shortly but the, uh, the tomato plants, I made the mistake because I tried it with the string trellis without the traditional metal cages and it did not work. As you can see, this one right here broke um, and they grow very crazy. They're strong, powerful plants. Um, but this one actually survived. I mean, this thing had snapped over. You can see the damage and it survived as you can see it's growing tomatoes so this is crimson tomatoes which I'm excited for and then this one is doing good it's tomatoes right there that's beef steak tomatoes now um, this these cages are upside down and the reason for that is because as you know a tomato cage is wider at the base and I wanted to be able to slide it over the tomato plant without breaking all the stems so I started with the wider part so I have it held down by a, a stone very dumb of me I'm aware but you learn from your mistakes so next year I'm not doing a string I am doing cages right off the top these are my potatoes. Anybody that knows potatoes knows this crazy jungle right here is perfectly normal. They are getting to their time. Um, I'd say maybe in a week, two weeks max, it'd be time to harvest them, which is good. And then this wind knocked over my pepper plants tell you it came pouring down here in Virginia I'm gonna have to come back with some sticks and hold these bad boys up right and this is my squash clearly not a problem I have cut a lot of leaves but we got the zucchinis right there and where's the other guy I know there's there's a little baby Right here, you can see still on the flower. And there he is. He's like down in line right here. So he'll be ready pretty soon too. This side is the yellow squash. Couple flowers. There is one little guy right down there. But I've already harvested a bunch yellow squash and green zucchini then I have my green beans and the Japanese beetles so I got those bags for them if you guys have ever used those bags let me know I'm buying more because they're apparently not working as well as they could I don't know if you can see those beetles on there or not but this is my garden far from a professional but let me know your thoughts 
Um, I did the netting for green beans, and that's working out pretty good. But the string for the tomatoes, a waste. The string for the cucumber is amazing. Like I said, I just got to make this a little bit stronger. Either use metal piping or switch to a stronger PVC. But I'm open to suggestions. So keep everything positive, but uh, comments, suggestions, I appreciate it. Thanks.